Like what? To protect this cargo, they transferred in one of their elite units from a continent away. If our whole battalion comes knocking, they'll evacuate immediately. We'll need a small, fast attack to get inside K-52. The guerrillas know the tunnels quite well, so I suspect they have ambush points. It doesn't matter where they hide. Their fate will be the same. Good. Word will spread about the captured posts, so I would head to Broken Valley immediately. We'll have a surveillance officer monitoring K-52's largest entrance. His name is Trecht. When you've seen the cargo, report to him, and he'll contact me on a secure frequency. Go in strength. Nice. Speed is lit up again. Yeah, I need to go back to the main city. Why have I just done Trider? I have no idea. <laughs> I think I did Trider. Yeah, you did. Yes, I did. There appears to be uh, an outpost we haven't got, that Gorinth Imperial Outpost Skyhopper on Discord. Yeah, we have to run around it. Yeah. Are you coming to Sobrick or are you just going to run into I'm, I'm coming to Sobrick now. Okay. Oh, there you are. No, I'm just landing. We want to run out. If you get a good experience for this, it could ding us. Yeah, it looks like it's about 70, 80 percent now. Hmm. Welcome back. I take it everything went well, and the Okara droid factory is running smoothly? And what about Zalia? I trust that slicer won't be a problem. What slicer, Lieutenant Major? Ah, yes. What slicer, indeed. The Admiral will soon see my worth. Master is so wise. Remain silent, my pet, or I shall discipline you again. And you don't want that, do you? <laughs> Here is your payment for taking care of the slicer, my friend. Excellent work. Your next assignment concerns the local fauna. Colonel Sarsius is responsible for keeping our citizenry safe from the deadly colicoids infesting this planet. Never heard of these colicoids before. Colicoids are vicious, giant, insect-like creatures that devour anything in their path. Their exact origin on Balmora is unclear. After the Empire's invasion, the Balmorans released mutated colicoids into the wilderness. The creatures successfully bred and have become a plague on the population. The colicoids have become almost docile in recent months. Attacks are down all across the planet. That makes Colonel Sarsius look like he's got this plague under control. But we know better, don't we? I'm not interested in guessing games, Perel. What's your plan? Simple. If docile colicoids are the problem, then we must strive to make them hostile again. <laughs> the last time they attacked in force, 
was when a survey team accidentally encountered a colicoid queen. It took five squads to kill her. Esupuda nupa junki, faguta ji uta vukise. Uptola, tu patuana duana wanki, slimo pod yukata janga. I'm following you. Kiko Ubakili, Wata Bunga Dunko, Putoga Wata. Place this sonic device near the nest entrance. It will confuse and anger the colicoids. Kill any drones and warriors you see. Eventually, the queen will reveal herself. The sonic device will disorient her, leveling the playing field so you get a fair shot. Be fast and careful. Hmm. That's kind of shady, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's not a sympathizer at all, is she? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, slightly better pants. Oh, come on to this, it's back to the speeder. Yeah, but that's going to take us right back to Troida. Ah, oh, that's true, yeah. So if we run out, we can run around that mountain. Right. Good thinking, Batman. <laughs> I have my, own, my moments. I got the achievement Sinister. Sinister? Yeah. What's that for? <laughs> Uh, so many evil things, I think. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't even know how to find out where my achievements are at. There used to be a, a speeder point here, didn't there? There was, yeah. Oh, you got some. Did I? <laughs> Get out of here. Come on, lift her up. The floor is low. Ooh, get that gun going at it. That war is not so bad, sans the shooting. I bet it was downright pleasant before all this fighting started. Uh, 
Hunter, your business is death. How do you like Balmora so far? Worthless, isn't it? But full of death. As war zones go, it's not so bad. Mm. And you haven't been here long enough. Resistance stealth troops have been infiltrating Imperial outposts, making quick strikes and leaving no trace. The Empire says they can't be beaten. I say they can. What did you have in mind? You don't see them until they kill you, that's what they say. But I built the tech they use to keep hidden. There are camps in the Gorinth Wilds, but they've surrounded it with mines to keep strangers out. Watch your step, and you can use this device to detect the stealth fighters. They're fast, though. If I may offer advice, strike quick and hard. Okie dokie. Ooh. Level 19. Gross, mate. I must be right behind you. It's full, but not dinged. <laughs> Quest here. I'll be with you in a moment. We've an aerial attack underway. Fire when ready, Hawk Leader. Proton bombs away. Generators show no damage. Come around for another run. What's the use? Return to base. There you have it. The resistance shield generators are well nigh invulnerable. Too entrenched for our bombers, too well armored for ground assault. I'm not here to save you. If you can't fight this war, you can be replaced. Listen to me. We haven't lost this. There's a solution of sorts. This planet is orbited by laser defense satellites. Most were destroyed in the invasion, but a few still function. If we took <coughs> over the laser satellites via their control tower, we could aim them at the planet and destroy the shield generators. My predecessor called it Operation Firestar. That sounds like something worth seeing. It would be. Unfortunately, it hasn't happened yet. Firestar was scrapped, with the Resistance blasting us every step of the way, taking the control tower is impossible, and we have no alternative. If Operation Firestar stays iced, the aerial campaign is doomed. But perhaps, you can do what a squad of soldiers can't. Is that the back yeah. What, that noise? Yeah. You can hear it, it's the kettle. Barely hear it. Yeah. yeah, it's the kettle. It's Rachel's making a brew. Oh, uh, okay. She's off this afternoon. Well, until we've, we've got the dentist appointment at uh, five o'clock. So then she's going to work after that. And this for you or? For her? Yeah, for me, Rachel and Julie. Oh, all of you have one. Yeah, yeah. Just to check up. Oh, there's a thing here. You know, I missed that. Do you require medical attention? Yeah, it's just the usual health check, you know, the... We go every th every three months. Right. Every three months? Like. Every three months, yeah. See, the, the dentist won three on, on, on one of the occasions, which is this time. And then in three months' time, we'll see the hygienist. Uh, okay. Just to keep on top of them. This one. Yeah, I've got something out here. Oh, there we go. Level 19. Right. Thank you.
Are we supposed to do that? Thanks, love. Um, I'll, I'll just use that item to decloak. It didn't work. <laughs> Let's bloody some noses. You want some of this? Try here. Nope, try somewhere else. I like when they sit nice together in a group like that. <laughs> Heavy armor? Uh, or no. Strength. I'll uh, try it here. Oh. Oh. So. Twelve. Is there a clue to where they are? These things. I didn't see a clue. I just. Is it just where these markers are? Yes, it is. The, the marker on the map. Try it here. Nope. <laughs> Aha. I don't see anything. I don't really get it. Six of twelve. Six of twelve. Yeah. <laughs> I take it you just have to guess where they are then. Let's try and worry. Yeah. And I've said over here, well, look, we just follow the bodies. Install the transmitter. We have K-52s right here to our right. Yeah. Let's head in there then. Eh? Oh, fire stars of four, broke four. Take that off now. Hang on, I've got to spend a point. <laughs> no what? idea, no, what to, no idea what to spend it in, but I've got to spend it.
I took you on the spin yours. I had not. Now I just did. <laughs> oh, okay. Use the computer terminal. Yeah. I'm here. What do you need, Africa? Hold on. How did you get in? I have a way with people. <laughs> All right, I can take a hint. Listen, the people in that complex aren't of any consequence and are certainly no threat to the Empire. They have quite an escort for people of no military value. Try again. I'm telling the truth. They're Force Sensitives, and the law on Imperial planets is all Force Sensitives must be trained as Sith. If you don't train, you're executed as a potential threat, but not everyone would make it as a Sith. Some people discover this sensitivity when they're too old, or they just don't have the will. I hope we're not being shot at while this is happening. One doesn't hear much about those weak in the Force. Right. But it doesn't mean they deserve to be executed, or forced to stab each other in the back. We get them to Republic Planet so they can grow dirt, or compose symphonies, or whatever it is they're good at. But the Emperor keeps making laws that say they have to die. If they are no threat, they have little to fear from me. Are you serious? Your superiors would... Well, I won't tell them if you don't. Everyone in that cavern will have you to thank for their lives. We'll clear everyone out of the caves. It would be best if you could say you found nothing here. Which way did you go, dark or light? Dark. Yeah. Oh, where have you gone? Oh, yeah. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm just helping some random person. So that's all there is in the cave. Okay. Sixty-seven on Balmora now. The colonists are waking up. Yeah, well, yeah, there's probably a lot of it. I'll show you my gun. Oh, there's something on over here. Oh, the guy we were probably supposed to talk to before going in there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> You're the crew Major Tyrus sent in, correct? Looks like most of you made it out. Major? Yes. Yes, your team has secured the tunnels. That accent doesn't no, match that hairdo. He contacted you immediately, sir. He wants to know if you no. made it in time. They were smuggling out force sensitives too weak to become Sith. Sir, sounds like we have another one of Commander Hun's projects. All philanthropy, no teeth. Uh-huh. What about a gas canister or something cheap? <laughs> Something I cheap. So. I'll pass the word on. <laughs> the major says good work. We'll take it from here. Are you going to exterminate them? We'll find their nerve center soon enough. And when we do, they'll pay. You, on the other hand, are in the major's good books. He wants to commend you for aiding the battalion. If every soldier we had risked their neck like you, this empire would be a much different place. Oh, my boots are much better. It's not nice. 10k experience for that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, something straight ahead of us. Oh, I see, he's back in the base, is it? No 
more surprise attacks. Good. Captain Rigel is on Holo. He wants a word with you. I asked you to do a job, and you sure outdid yourselves. We'll all have medals by the end of this one. Word is, the former Balmoran Minister of Defense, Von Argen, might come down to Balmora. He's playing right into our hands. I hope he does show up. I'll kill him. I hope so too. Now that the wilds are secured, we're ready for the final push. Colonel Vrain, head of the Imperial Conquest Consolidation Corps, has come to oversee the action. He's at the Sundari outpost, in striking distance of the Resistance's main base. It's now or never. Well, they seem to be uh, quite a way away. Yeah, it looks like we got quite a walk. Yeah. Heroic four fire starter. Do we want that? What's that? Heroic four fire starter. No, I I unclicked it. I hid it. All right. Okay. Get rid of that. All right. I think they need to lift the restrictions a little bit on uh, on the free to play on this. Yeah, it's a little bit, uh... especially on the equipment, so you can wear purple, not greed or anything, you know. But or at, least, or at least make it, you can craft without having to subscribe. Yeah, I, I agree with that. 